first thing I did when I got to Managua was that I watched the Bronco game. Or did I enjoy an ice cold beer? Or did I relax by the swimming pool? But anyway, this is a sign that I saw, which was really interesting, in one of the local malls. And Managua seems to have a lot of nice malls. But anyways, currently, Managua is considered the capital of Nicaragua. But apparently in years past, Managua, Leon, and Granada would alternate between being the capitals of Nicaragua. Anyway, the sign had some interesting information about Managua. Apparently in 1972, a large earthquake hit Nicaragua, which destroyed the downtown area in Managua and also unfortunately killed a lot of people. And at the time, Managua as a city and Nicaragua as a country were very poor and just didn't have the resources to rebuild the downtown area. And so many of the people just relocated their houses or their businesses to the outskirts of the city. Then in the late 1970s and 1980s, there was a huge civil war which further destroyed the city and the economy. Then I guess in the 1990s or late 1990s, a huge hurricane called Hurricane Mitch destroyed the city again. So after these disasters, Managua tried to rebuild, but I guess they never truly rebuilt a downtown or that's why today there's no true downtown area like there are in other major cities. Although there are some highly concentrated areas with a lot of shops, restaurants, bars. Uh, one of the main areas, a really nice areas that I like to go to anyway is called Metro Center, which has this huge mall, as well as a lot of um, really nice shops, hotels, restaurants, nightlife. And when I say nice area, I don't just mean nice for a third world country, but this is truly a nice area. And a cool place to meet people and hang out. So this is where I stayed. It's kind of looks like it's on the outskirts but it's pretty close to uh, a lot of contemporary stuff it's just in the back it's kind of a redeveloped area the place i stayed was really nice but then you'll ru run into all these like the big dogs running loose and occasionally you'll run into a horse i see people you know walking their animals not their dogs but their uh animals but here's the actual place I stayed in sorry for the camera work it was uh, with an iPhone but it was brand new recently built and just everything was contemporary very clean you know excellent water pressure and really safe secure area the had a little patio here nice well well kept place I had a good time staying there this is the outside community grounds community And here's the weight room, quasi weight room. Nothing worked in here. Everything was broken. They even had these two pounds, I don't know if they're kilogram. I don't even know what they were. Uh, but they had these really good selfie mirrors, really clean selfie mirrors, so I had to take a selfie. But other than that, that gym just was not functional, not operational. So I spent most of my time at the pool. And this is what I was talking about earlier. This is the what I consider the metro center area. People from Managua might say I'm wrong. I'm not an expert at all, but uh, I think this was in the general area. And there's a lot to do in this area.
very very clean nice area this statue was what stood out to me this is Alexis of Whale he was a really good boxer back in the day obviously from Nicaragua now the good boxer is Chacolito Roman Chacolito Gonzalez but anyway this statue it, it's in the nicer area but you can see people just truly respect it there's no litter around it no graffiti on it they just keep it very nice I guess it's controversial he actually got into politics after boxing and I believe he supposedly either killed himself or died in his sleep it's kind of a weird story when you ask about it he's a fantastic boxer this is one of the places I hung out at it's called I think Buffalo Wings a lot of cool people hang out there so this is New Year's Eve and these pictures do not do it justice but the whole city just blew up I mean on the whole like in front of me the side of me behind me I don't know how, how they did it but from where I was at every angle had fireworks going off and it just sounded like a big explosion really cool thing to experience man so I tried to take a picture of it but it didn't really come out that good This is Granada. This is the city center where pretty much I guess everyone goes. There's a lot of high-end hotels, restaurant shops. And this is the obviously the, the church that's kind of the staple of the area. You can just go here, hang out. A lot of street vendors and restaurants. I wanted to go to the church to check out a mass, but I never made it. But they're going on all the time. And there's a lot of nice buildings, and I don't understand. Most of them say bank or ban banco on it, meaning bank. Yeah, but they're never open, man. I don't know why there's so many banks. I can speculate. I won't, but there are a ton of banks in this city. And they're in nice buildings that always seem to be closed. I don't know. I, I did go on the holidays, so maybe that was it. But I just fi found that kind of awkward. And this is what in Granada one of the I think it's one of the biggest lakes in the world this place was really fun to go hang out and eat I really didn't go in the water and I saw people in the water I, I personally wouldn't go and this is right next to the city plaza at nighttime it really livens up a lot of uh, uh there's a lot of tourists and locals that go here and great food a lot of bars great nightlife and of course I had to watch the Broncos here I think this was at a club called Riley's or a bar called Riley's really friendly staff and uh, they had the Bronco game so obviously I had to watch Super Bowl champs and back to the nightlife a lot to do here you meet a lot of cool people hang out reasonably priced beer food everything now this place I stayed at was incredible I actually stayed at another place first but I, I didn't book it right and it was so crowded I couldn't find a place anywhere there was no vacancies and the guy that actually owned this was really cool and he he actually took me here I guess this lady I don't know I just got the feeling she didn't market it because she had some vacancies and her place was incredibly nice. This is one of the nicest places I've stayed at, um, especially in Nicaragua. It's, you can see how close it is to the city center, city park. And it's in this cool little top floor. Now the thing here is in Granada I found when you stay on the top floor, at certain times of day there's no water pressure. You can't get, you can't take a shower, there's no pressure, but this lady had a awesome compressor 
and you just go downstairs and turn it on and you could take a, a really hot, if you wanted to, really hot shower with great pressure. This is the main, main floor area and uh, she kept it immaculate, man. I just felt so at peace with this place. But again, I, I don't think she marketed it. It was, <laughs> wasn't even that expensive and um, no one was there. And the other places weren't as nice and they were even a little more expensive or at least the same price. So I was glad I found this place and if I go back, I'll definitely stay here. And so this is their, what I call, version of Starbucks. Casa de Coffee. And they're all over Nick, or Managua and Granada from what I found. And this is the back courtyard. It was so cool, man, just to go to, back there and uh, jump on your computer, read a book, whatever. And the iced coffees are great. So I spent a lot of time there. Selfie mode as a ceiling selfie. This is a Mexican restaurant in Granada and the food was great. I ate there so much they knew my name, knew who I was, uh, and they're so clean. You can see all the waste staff wear gloves, so uh, I ate there all the time. And this was kind of weird, they have this, um, they put up this signs, but one of these signs I saw frequently was, it's kind of like a certificate where they endorse or protect people from prostitution with minors which is weird, I don't know if people go there, have sex with minors or whatever, but I just thought it was weird that I saw a lot of these signs where restaurants would help police the area. If you go there, be very careful. I don't know what the punishment is, but I'm sure it's severe if there's signs all over the place. Anyways, that was my journey to Nicaragua. I also went to the beach towns of San Juan del Sur, Riva, so I'll have to put that up, but uh, Managua and Granada were great. Strongly recommend you guys check them out. Take care and have a good day.